We've been wanting to get one of these out on a vlog for quite a long time, haven't we, mate? Look at the size of that. Big flat floats. 50 gram. We're on the mighty River Trent, probably, well, definitely my favourite venue in the UK. Now, we've both used these quite a bit in international mm -hmm. fishing abroad, but it's not something you see a lot of in the UK. Mate, I'm really interested to see what you're going to catch on it today. There's some big fish here. We're in the Nelson Field at Burton Joyce. Um, chance of some massive perch. There's an odd chub here. Who knows what surprises this could throw up. Think we're going to get a bite? I'm looking forward to seeing if we do. I'm scared if we do. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of location, folks, sorry it's a little bit windy, but the main reason we've chose to fish this spot today um, it's simply because the river comes round this big bend here and all the deep water and the flow is on the inside of these rocks just here. So that's a natural food gathering channel and a conveyor belt of food for big fish. And obviously things like eels and big perch, any, any quality fish tend to like cover. So this line of rocks on the inside with deep water just off the edge is absolutely perfect for them. We're all set up, mate. And when we, we say we, you've done all the setting up today, yeah. thankfully. Does that mean I get first go? You get the first go. All right. You're going to catch a little teeny tiny roach, and then I'm going to catch a four pound perch. That's what will happen, probably. <laughs> it's just like it's a mission just getting out of here. Like, we sat on, what, 10 metres out from the banks? Miles away. But I love, Gary, getting, I love getting. I love watching us look. Go on, Gary. This is going to be electric if we get one. If we get a bite. We could be drumming this up and actually yeah, not get a bite. Blank. No, I'm sure. Do you think we will? Genuinely. I think we'll catch some fish, yeah. There's a lot of big perch here. Um, they catch a few chub here. There's mm. bream in this river. There's even barbel in this river. Um, so, never know what we're going to catch. I think you can get another caster and a bit of emp in that one, mate, do you reckon? There's about 5.3 pints in there, brother. Yeah. Using all my worms up. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for the worms tank. Yeah. Interesting bait tray here folks pellets what is in that just dirt no Ugh, look at that it's a snake canadian night crawlers Ugh. go on lobbies got some dead maggots hempen casters dendrobina worms and matt's just chopping a few up so what's the plan are you going to feed it in ground bait bait dropper I'm... all i can see is a bait dropper so <laughs> i know the answer i'm going to feed in a bait dropper because this river's got so many little fish in it and by that, I mean dace and roach and bleak, mm. and I feel like ground bait will definitely attract them. I, I want to pick out them bigger, ugly fish. We might even catch a big eel or something yeah. like that today. Um, and they tend to shy away from ground bait a bit because, probably not because they don't like it, but probably because ground bait brings so many small fish in, the bigger ones don't come and settle. So I'm going to do some worms, mm -hmm. really coarsely chopped. So there's still some yeah, quite bigger big bits chunks. There, isn't there? And I mean, look at these big bits, but I quite like that because. We're not going to try and attract small fish, are we? No, and I'm going to get a load of casters and emp. So you put some maggots in, worms, casters and emp. A few pellets. What are they? Just little halibut? The three mil activated halibut pellets. Yeah, really, really strong smelling. Um, they and again, stink, don't they? You yeah. Put, you put that glug on I them? I put some liquid on them, liquid yeah, some barbel liquid. Go on. Um, but obviously this river gets fished a lot by carp and barbel anglers, so yes. the fish like chub and bream get fed pellets a lot even in matches people even put them in for roach and dace mm, mm. Um, that's how many they see but that's the mix i reckon i'm gonna bait dropper a couple of massive bait droppers of that in at the start just two yeah um and you just go from there might be a bit of a waiting game today i ain't got a clue what's gonna happen no i haven't got a clue plumbing up very important on a flat float especially a heavy one because it's easy to get an inaccurate reading because You've got so much weight on your line. And the way to counteract that is to use a very heavy plummet. This is a 60 gram version. And I always plumb up off um, the hook. Some people put a clip on plummet up here. Mm. I like to know exactly what dead depth is in case I want to fish with just a little bit of line on the bottom. And if you have a look at this peg that we're on today, it's quite interesting because there's a lovely flat area fishing a full 13 meters out there. When you've got such a heavy rig and heavy plummet with them drilled bullets on as well, got to let everything straighten out like so. And when you lower it down, be nice and slow. So you definitely feel the donk of the plummet and not them drilled bullets. 
Now, another thing when you're plumbing up on a river like this, you need to know what's on the bottom in your peg. And I'm just working my way down here, as you can see, and I'm just getting, see it starts to shallow up a bit there? Just getting a reading of exactly what's on the bottom because you don't want to fish where there's any big rocks, boulders, holes, anything like that. And this peg's interesting because it's lovely and flat. It's coming up a little bit here, look. But then when we get a little bit further down, it's come up probably three foot. Mm. So what I have had to make the decision to do this morning, I wish I'd have actually set my platform up a little bit higher that way, but I now know there's a big boulder at the bottom end of my peg. So what we've been doing is fishing, feeding and presenting the bait pretty much straight in front of us. You actually have to enter the water above your swim, get everything in set and fish on that nice flat bit that you can see just here, look. It's lovely, it's flat, nice firm bottom. That area, when you're fishing like this and you're just trying to hold the bait still for big fish, that little plateau that we've got there is perfect, but we've just got to be wary of that big beast of a boulder at the bottom end of the swim. What I do then is, once I've actually plumbed up, I know that that's set at dead depth now, so I've put a little mark on my pole at where the actual depth is and I'm then going to move my float up because I want to fish with quite a lot of line on the bottom. So I'm going to move it up about 15, 16 inch there. So I've got all this distance here laid on the bottom. Static presentation, big fish of the target and I want all that hook length to be laid there out of the way, keeping that bait nice and still on the bottom. What are bait droppers, Matthew? Bait droppers are droppers that get bait to the bottom. Bait? Bait to the bottom. It's a mechanical device, very, very simple. They've been about for years. Um, and, and you basically load them up with bait, put bait in there, yeah. close it up. It's attached to your, either your hook or you can put it on a little separate swivelly thing like I've got today. And, yeah. and you lower it down, it gets all the bait to the bottom in one go. When it hits the bottom, it opens up and releases it all. So it's, you can feed nice and accurately lots of particles um very easily on a on a flowing river obviously if you just threw that bait in the water be seeing you. it would get flown down miles and miles yeah. um, so an accurate way of feeding we've got baby ones we've got middle of the road ones uh, but today i think we're, there, kid. we're mainly going to be using the big daddy out yeah let's get some jockey eh? come on then show me how to do it the right. whole process so i i've got a separate top kit here yeah. Black hydro set really tight, so just line, is it? Just line, just some heavy line, little swivel on the bottom. Show me, hang on, there you go. A little snap oh. link, yeah. Clip oh. it on my dropper, and then I've got some pieces of elastic tied around my pole. A lot of people used to use a cable tie, but I, yeah, don't, I, use a like, cable tie. I don't like putting them on my pole. No, you're right there. That little bit of soft elastic with a knot on just holds it in place. Go on. You can ship it out, and when you turn it round, it drops off. I ain't done any of this in years. I ain't done like, a lot of honestly, it recently, I can't remember mate. the last time I ever bait droppered in. I wonder who first came up with this idea. Mr. Bait Dropper. Bee Dropper. Bee Dropper. Right, so you're going to fill it up with the concoction which we've yep. just shown you. The party mix. Close it up like that. So and you're then... going to whack it around your elastic. Wrap it around there, Jock. Like that. Go on, then. And then nice and steadily, I'm going to ship it out. Now I'm going to drop this in quite far upstream because it's deep and it's flowing. So it needs to get to the bottom. So <laughs> I'm going to be fishing. What are you doing? I'm going to be fishing just slightly downstream. So I'm going to put this in well upstream. Are you ready? Go on I'm then. I'm going to twist it round. Go on then. Geronimo! All Look right. at that. Wow. Like that. That was quite well done, to be fair to you, sir. And so now, you're going to drop it to the bottom. Slowly lower it down. I'm just going to let it come round a little bit. Bang! She's down. Oh, yeah. I saw it, yeah. See it at the bottom? Yeah, so we're just giving it a jag now. Just make sure it's empty. Yeah, and then lift it up. And it, hopefully it'll be empty. Yay, it's hey, empty. You got it. You, you know what? I was once fishing on here, right? And I had a pike. Kept grabbing my bait dropper. <laughs> when I was bringing it in. <laughs> Two of them. In Right, let's film the first run through. Oh, tank, oh, tank. Oh, oh, go on then. Oh. That looked bite, didn't it? It was a bite, it was. The only thing that can pull it under. Yeah. <gasps> that would bite. <gasps> Matt, oh my God. I've got one, tank. You've got one. 
What is that? What is that? Whoa. What is it? Whoa, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh my God. That is mega. <laughs> oh. Is it pulling? It's pulling! Ah! Wow, that's mega! Wow. Look at Whoa. What do you reckon? I don't know, mate. Pulling me in. <laughs> that is brilliant. On its Did genuine, you see it man. shoot under? <laughs> First chuck. Wow! Genuine. This is what fishing's all about, isn't it? Look at that! That looks amazing. That is a big fish, that, isn't it? Come on, Jimmy, I can see your tricep. Come on. Oh, it's going. It's pulling like mad. That's it. Keep Gonna it. have to let it tire itself out out there, yeah. aren't I? Full 40 and a half metre of pole out there. Look at that. Beast mode. I've got I've got a feeling this is something special. You reckon? I think it's coming up. Oh. 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 What is it? Oh my god, it's a marble! Oh. Not a bad one either. It's a big one. My knees are like jelly. Oh, that's a lovely thing. Whoa! <laughs> Mate, that's awesome. Look at the pole. Mate. Look at that. Whoa! They've got some great power, haven't they? Mate. Whoa! Wow. Here we go, everyone. Here we go. This is a chance. This is a chance. This is a chance. Oh, oh no! <laughs> take your time, take your time, don't marbury it. Exceptional. Yeah! Come on! Come on. It's going yeah. me. <laughs> oh, mate. Wow. That is unbelievable. Oh, mate, look at me. That was incredible. First fish. Oh. Everyone's going to think, like, yeah, whatever. Genuinely, <laughs> that was the first cast, everyone. I'm not even. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> fish, mate. Oh, I'm wow. gonna just. I'm gonna. Oh, mate, I am so shaky. Feel me hand. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm gonna leave, mate. I'm gonna leave her. Yes. To recover for a minute. Yeah. Because obviously, it's a, good fish, it's a great fish. How amazing was that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's look at her. She's ready to go already. What a fish. But we'll have a little look at her on the map. Give her a, give her a second. Well, I what? didn't expect that, did you? No, I'm, <laughs> no not the first, first cast. Oh wow. my god! Incredible, mate. Well done. Yeah, we're gonna get let her recover. Yeah. If, if ever you do, obviously, if ever you do come and do this kind of fishing, and you are lucky enough to hook and catch a barbel like that, yes. make sure you. Give them some rest in the edge. I've not even got her out of the water yet because I'm tired from the fight, so she is as well. But as long as they're upright, they're in your net, nice big landing net, yeah. um, and just let them get a breather before you actually get them out, get a picture and, and put them back again. Really, really important. Yeah, I agree. Do quite a lot of barbel fishing on the trend. Never, I've never caught one on a pole before. Never. Really? No. First ever one? First ever one on a pole. I can't believe I cannot believe we've got I've it. never caught a barbell on a pole in England. You're up next, brother. Look at that. What a surprise. What a fish. Absolutely incredible fish to catch on a pole. Was not expecting that with you. Just shows what you can do though, mate. Right gear. Right presentation, thanks to them flat floats. And literally first chuck in. You're up next, brother. I cannot wait. I'm scared. Look at guns ready for big fish up pole. Honestly, I'm a bit nervous. I'm looking forward to it. Oh. Oh! <laughs> that were a great bite. Were you impressed with the lift? I didn't The try. lift the lift were great, yeah. but. The connection was poor. The connection was poor. There's something there. Oh my God. What's that? Well, Whoa, yeah. that's something different. That is something different, everyone. It's pulling a bit now. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> Go on, the it's tank. It's pulling now, you know. How are you feeling? I'm quite nervous now. 
<laughs> it could be a big perch, that man. What is it? Oh, it's a bream. It's a bream. No. Oh, I was not expecting that, were you? <laughs> it's a massive bream. That is a big bream. Watch that section. Look at the size of that. Hey, we all got that wrong, didn't we? Perch, oh, bream. At, I've never had a bream fat like that. I've, wow. <laughs> that is incredible, isn't it? Mate, it's awesome. Pulling like mad, you know. And mate, it's massive Look bream. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good colours on it. <laughs> oh, that is mint, isn't it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a fish, Matt. It's like five pounds plus, in. It's awesome, that. What? Size of that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Give us a slide, brother. Slide yeah. on, brother. Wow. The colours on that bream is gorgeous, dark. isn't he? Gorgeous. Wow, brilliant. Well done, mate. Thank you, pal. Don't pal me, pal. Don't pal me, pal. Go on, the bream. Unreal, mate. Look at that. What a fish. What a way of fishing for him as well. Cool, isn't it? If you haven't done it before, you need to get on it because, seriously, there's not a more thrilling way of catching a fish. On a river, on a, on river. a pole, on a float. Look at that. That is, honestly, got bigger shoulders than you. Not as big as the tank, though, eh? Oh, look at that. Slide yeah. on, brother. Slide on. Proper happy with that. Big one there, Matthew. Yeah, don't hear that very often when I'm <laughs> kicking about, mate. Um, <laughs> that's the up bait, isn't it? That's the up bait. And one thing that's really important, if you're going to come and do this kind of fishing for big fish, you need the right hook on it. It's mm. such an important part of the setup. That is an excess spade barbed version. The PTFE coated. Super sharp, aren't they? Super sharp, super yeah. strong. But the key is, there, I've got that big three quarts of a lobworm on hooked right on the hook, but I've still got all that point showing. Mm. So when fish suck it in, you've got that point to actually penetrate and hook them. And penetrate? Penetrate, <laughs> word of the day. But when you've got them big fish coming in your peg on a river, you don't want to be missing out. So no. right hook, loads of confidence in it, caught so many big fish on them. No, and no, look they, at what we've caught today. Unreal. Yeah, I reckon if you... Oh, Matt. Oh, that's a big fish. That's that. a big fish. That, that is a monster. That's a massive fish. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pulling like mad. The elastic's in the middle look of the it. trend. Look at it. Look where his elastic is. Wow. Mate, the sky and everything looks amazing. Definitely on a bit of a species hunt. Chub, green, barbel. Mr. Chubby. Go on. Whoa. Hey, up. Risky. The fish are stunning. Look at that. Show us the flatty rig tank. A lot of people won't have seen this kind of thing before, so uh, give us the lowdown, brother. Well, it's a very simple rig once you get the components and all the bits of tackle right. Starting on the elastic, we've got a tightened up black hydroelastic there. Black hydro is so durable. It's brilliant for big fish, whether you're fishing for carp or big fish like we are today on the river. It's brilliant, but it's important that it's nice and tight because when you're striking through that flat float, you've got to have that bolt effect you've got to hook your fish get a really good hook hold main line now this is ridiculously strong and durable it's 10 pound pulse pro main line um which is bulletproof absolutely brilliant look for these big flat floats because we've got a 30 gram Caluso torpedo on there today and we've used them abroad haven't we up to 50 gram to the business end these are non-toxic drilled bullets and they shot the floor obviously wow yeah so but it's important they're free running mate and that's because when you're fishing for these big fish when they're banging their head you want those shot to move yeah. because if not it's a lot of weight right near the fish's head and i've just found you get an odd hook pull if they're not free running so it's important they're free running like that and i've got three number eights just below there that's just stopping the drill bullets from moving any further yeah and about, I think it's about 20 centimetres down. We've got another two number eights there. And then we've got another 20 centimetres. We've got a small heli swivel. And that's just what I attach my hook length to. 
our hook length. This is my rig, my hook length. <laughs> I'm talking about rigs. This is my section. <laughs> and what's the uh, what's the what's the beast on the end? What we got well, on the end? Well, this is wise? 15 inches in length of my hook length. Yeah. My hook length. Our hook length. Our hook length. It's O22 N gauge. Again, bulletproof stuff. You've seen how big these fish are and how hard they pull. So you've got to have strong hook length material. And we've got a 10 excess spade. Beast of an hook. Barbed hook. Nice. Absolute beast. Ouch. Ouchy. Ooh. That was strange, that. I, I think that, that were a bite. That looked a bite. Looked a bite, that. Looked like a bite to me, bro. Mike, you got it? Don't panic. <laughs> Dropped his mic in, folks. <laughs> That'll be game over, that. <laughs> Caught his microphone. How do you feel about that? Oh, God. It's a technical term for that. As you saw there, this clamp bit dropped the microphone in, folks. So if sounds a little bit weird from this point on, we're very, very sorry, but we're going to carry on because this is a great vlog. We need some better straps. Yeah. Sorry, Rooney. It's a sorry, Tank. Right. <laughs> tank, will you marry me? No. Please. Okay. I'll let you have a go when there's some barbel feeding. I've got your present. Right, these, yeah. these are called barbel roses. Roses. And they're going to catch you a barbel. Put them there. Bet you get one, this chuck. Go on, the tank! <laughs> That's them roses I gave you. Barbel roses. Is it, is it pulling? You look like you're doing well. Good job you're good at gym, innit? What a fishy, fishy, fishy. It's great. Oh, yes! Oh, he's getting close. He's getting close. Oh, he's there, look. Whoa! Go on! Yeah! <laughs> Go on! Oh! My first one! They pull so hard, it's ridiculous. <laughs> look at that, Matt. Mate. Wow! Let's uh, let her recover and I'll get your mat set up for you. I'm going to get you a nice picture of that one. Unbelievable, mate. So, so happy with this. What a day. What an incredible day. I don't want to go home. No, it's lovely, mate. I love it. He's battling into another one, and this one is going further than any marvel has gone before. No! Matthew, well done. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Will Razor drove me that trick. Just so drop it. Just as they're about to bottom you out, drop it and it takes the breath and it stops. Wow. It doesn't always work, obviously. Sometimes it can just give you an extra little Second. pull. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was going to bush you then. Still mine, but. No, the tap on it, the tackle is so balanced and durable for this game. I it's, think that's it's, in it's in mouth. It's in mouth. That black eyes row, bottomed out. Yeah. Barbell in the middle of the river. <laughs> Life is good, back is not good. Gone very quiet. No, I, I, it could be a big one. Do you reckon? Yeah. Come on, be a massive one. Looks massive. Oh my God. Plus, look at that big view. Any opportunity you get with the arm moving. You know, to get a section behind it's just about buying them a few seconds when you bottom you out. So you can actually quickly shove it forward. Yeah. <laughs> I have max pressure. I have been I have been pretty much since that four seconds after I upped it. You want your heart to drop out your arsehole or <laughs> pop out your mouth, get on it. The chance it's a big one. The big 20 pounder that's in here. He could do. Oh my god. Big? I think it's bigger than his mouth. Yeah? Yeah. Big. Yeah. Yes. Big. Yes, yes. Go on, here she comes. Oh. 
Go on! Yes! Everything, eh? <laughs> well done, lad. Folks, if today doesn't inspire you to go out and do something a little bit different, get that heart pumping, get the adrenaline flowing, I don't know what will. All I can say is make sure you've got the right kit for it, super strong pole, the right terminal tackle, and if you are catching big river fish like this, make sure you look after them well rested, make sure they're recovered, and make sure they go back strong. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget, like and subscribe. Slide on, brothers and sisters. Slide on.